The first thing that you need to take into account is that you need to use Composer to download your, the, the simple auth module because that will install the library that we talked about. Um, additionally, or alternatively, if you download the module from Drupal.org, you can just manually uh, install the library, but make sure that the, the PHP library that we saw the other day uh, is going to be there, uh, otherwise the module will fail. So once you have that downloaded, you can just go ahead and install the module, simple auth. We'll talk about simple auth third parties later on. Install it as usual, and that will give us a configuration screen that uh, we, we will need to, uh, <coughs> to edit. So the first thing that we will need to edit in this, configure, in this configuration screen, that is under configuration people simple auth, is uh, the, the expiration time. The expiration time is probably fine, but for my purposes in this video, I'm going to make it way bigger, which is uh, not a great idea, but uh, this way uh, my tokens will not expire under, under my feet. When, when I'm talking to you and explaining things. So uh, I just put in this a really high number, you shouldn't do this. Um, then the public and the private keys. Uh, in the module page description, there, is, uh, there are the commands that you need to run to generate these two files. This, uh, ideally, this should live outside of your project root. And um, let me show you what I mean by that. So I have, uh, this is my project root, here I have my uh, my composer, uh, my uh, vendor directory, etc. So inside of uh, inside of this, I have the the core directory. So if I take step back, oops, sorry, you'll see that I have here folder called certificates, and then I have public key and private key. So I'm gonna just do this certificates. And private. All right. And that should be enough uh, for this configuration screen. And uh, this is all that we need to configure the, the module. So uh, next on, we're going to talk about clients and that will be in our next video.